crew is very important. Martin Luther King talked about the ground crew on December the 10th, 1964, when he was being awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. And he said the flights could not get off the ground without a co-pilot, a pilot. He said it was the ground crew, the unsung heroes who make it happen. And they trust and glorify the ground crew. He had it in two segments of his short Nobel Prize speech. And then it hit me when I started my business in 1977. I said, we're the ground crew. And it has stuck. We are a brand. People know the ground crew. Mm -hmm. And we're proud about the ground crew. Yeah, I don't have to say the ground crew. We're the ground crew. I, I want to say the comment show, or the, the comment show, what show stood out to me most was like one of my very first Donna Karen shows, and it was because the, and it wasn't the DKNY Donna Karen, and just her energy was just, you know, it was just real calming, like it wasn't a lot of ruckus backstage, and then probably my second favorite show. I can't remember, but whatever it was, it was whatever it showed Andre Leon Talley walking in the back and his presence. He just walked you know in the room what? and everything. Man, I missed that. And it was Andre Leon Talley, like. <laughs> Speaking of Andre Leon Talley, let me tell you how Audrey Smalls had me caught up in the Matrix. So I was, I, it was Michael Kors a few seasons ago, Andre Leon Talley backstage. I'm a huge Andre Leon Talley fan. I think I had just finished reading his autobiography. Mm. Uh, when, with my sororities, we take our kids every year on the HBCU tour. We always go to his uh, undergraduate college at North Carolina Central. See, a lot of people don't know that Andre Leon Talley went to undergrad in North Carolina in his hometown. And so, I was like, oh my goodness, it's Andre Leon Talley. I just started my brand, Human Intonation. This small back day, she said, oh yeah, go over there, introduce yourself. Go over there. No, I'm, no, I'm in the middle of dressing. Go ahead over there and introduce yourself. So, of course, I go over there. The models are out walking in the show. I try to go over and introduce myself to Andre Leon Talley. Suddenly, I'm in a sea of models. Stampeding backstage, time to change, trying to do the time. That wasn't the time, but it's okay. But I do believe I'll have my opportunity to sit, introduce myself, and get to know Andre. I, you know, I gotta be honest, I don't think I have a bigger show. I love them all. I just love the opportunity to be backstage. I love doing what I'm doing. I will say this uh, at some point, I do want to be back on the production side of, of fashion. And so, anytime I have a chance to just be around, that essence of all the things that come together to make that show happen. That's what I love a lot about. My favorite show ever on the ground crew was we did a Terry Mugler show. Yeah, that was fun. At the Armory. At the Armory for Right, for VH1, Prince was there, Iman and David Bowie, it was a great show and interesting to watch how it took quite a while to get them in the clothes and that whole thing, that, that comes to mind first. I'm sure you ask me tomorrow, I'll have a different favorite show. All right, what's your favorite show? Uh, I know that it's VH1 Rock. Those were my, those were my favorite shows. It was, it was, a, it was a production. You know, there was a lot involved. And it, was, it was a lot of work, but it was still, it was the beginning of fun for me. The ground crew. Was probably a sumo. Back, I think it was 2015. Winter. And the reason why it was my favorite show was because the designs were so attractive. But not only that, I had a model who had a malfunction with the wardrobe, and just being able to step in and help out, you know, made me feel good. And the good thing about it is the model that I helped was actually ended up on the front page of the paper. So for me, that was really one of my best moments. Jennifer Lopez. We did a show with Jennifer Lopez. Yes, we did. And the show was about rhinestones 
all over and director chairs with her name behind each chair. Very nice. And that I just, I've been doing shows for about four years now. Because I work with the talent. And that was the best part. Let's see. Favorite one from that show is Taylor Swift. Because I worked with her actually. And then ended up with a big giant shopping bag of gifts from her. When we ended the show. So that was the best. But all shows were the Brian Hughes group. Victoria's Secret will be It's a lot of it. Victoria's Secret fashion show. I like. I love Kate Spade because that's just my thing. Victoria's Secret beats. Say hello to Dee. Hello. Dee, what it is the most fun. Lady started Trump. Daughter. She was either 16 or 17. Her own tents? Yeah, she was. We were at the tents. She's 38 now. We went. I got there at 7 o'clock in the morning. I was tired because we had just come from a show. And she got up. When she saw me, I must have looked really bad. She saw me. She told the hairdresser, stop. He stopped combing her hair. She went and got me coffee. And she told me to sit in her chair. And the man who was doing her hair had to do it while she was standing up. I sat down with the coffee she gave me, 7 o'clock in the morning. I didn't know who she was until the end of the show when I saw that there was a big commotion before the show that Trump and the wife were coming in to see their daughter. And mother's Ivana. She's Ivanka. And that's my story of how I met this wonderful 17-year-old my favorite show was the Hermes All About Women show. I believe it was 2013, maybe 2014, and it was in the financial district. And there was the greatest, most amazing party afterwards. All the champagne, all the trying of the perfumes, all the everything. There were gift bags, scarves given out. Just so much great stuff and so many great people to meet. Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret because it was my first time doing it ever yeah. last year and I got to work with Adriana, uh, Adriana Lima. Beautiful. So down to earth. I love her. So, yeah, was like, okay. I don't know, the, the outfit is just beautiful. I think, I think the wings more so, it's just, it takes over everything else, you know? And like they said, as a world's greatest show, it really is. Because you just, I don't know, you're around and then these girls are so gorgeous, they're so beautiful, you know, it's like, and they're also sweet, you know. So I think that one by far tops none of them because it was my first one and I only did it once, so maybe that's why it's my favorite. <laughs> When the ship park at the party, that was crazy. Uh, the the when I go to yeah. New York. Downstairs, it was crazy. It was like, there was no action, food everywhere. Okay, yeah, that was the best one. Hermes. Wait, what's up? Hermes was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Puerto Rico. Oh, you see, that's not, you see, they went to Puerto Rico. I know, it was Prada. Prada, summer, spring. We got a game, we can thank everybody. Okay, that was my favorite. It was probably 2014, 2013. And it was Jason, and his whole collection was dark. It was Melvin. <laughs> but also, the, the scene was cool. It was like smoke and everything. It was more sweet burning up, but I think that was one of my favorite shows. I like it. I like it. With the ground crew. Chanel. Ooh, with Carl Lagerfeld. He was right behind me. I was yes, yes, because we were together. Wait, wait, wait. We were we were we were together. Yeah, and was right. Carl was right there. And we wanted to like photo bomb him, but you know, you know the policy. Right. Respect. Backstage policy. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. Oh, it's like one of my favorite, favorite shows. I love it. That's my favorite show, too. What? Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret. Oh my god. <laughs> love it. I've dressed some of the heavy hitters like Adriana Lima and Candace Winnebago. I love those shows.